video, we're going to learn how to link your videos together for more views. So when a video ends, YouTube will immediately suggest 12 of the videos that a user might want to watch. Or they might just start playing the next one if autoplay is enabled. Why should you let YouTube decide what video your viewer should watch next? You know the viewer. You earned their view. Don't let them waltz off into the deep corner of the internet and never return. You need to suggest another video to them. Preferably two videos. How do you do this? Annotations. Now there is a two-step process to suggesting other videos. You need to do a bit of video editing and you need to use annotations. I'll briefly cover how to do the video editing, but mostly I'll focus on the annotations. So here's my ending credits, and I need to put a video here and here so I can link them up with annotations. Okay, so let's do that. So I go to my desktop, grab the first video, drag it on top right here. It takes over because it just thinks I want to insert something over it, but I want to do a picture in picture. Let's move that over here for last week's video. Move it down a little bit, make it a little bigger. Looks good to me. Now you may notice a problem here. I try to drag my second video on, mm, it replaces the first. In iMovie right now, you can only do one picture in picture at the same time. How do you get around that? Just export it, re import it, and then do it again. File, share, file, export it. You can delete everything you have in here back to your desktop or wherever you exported it. Drag it back in. Go to your desktop, grab your next one, and repeat the process. Change it from cutaway to picture in picture. Drag it to kind of match the other one. Take a chunk off the front. Mute that video if you don't want it coming up. Cut that one so it doesn't go over long. Export it again. Now you notice that there's an explosion sound from right here. That's the video. It's using calcium carbide. It's kind of fun. But I didn't remove that from the video when I exported the first time, and now I can't because I deleted those. So make sure your audio is what you want before you export everything. So I would take that ending, put it on the end of my actual video, upload that to YouTube, and now we need to set up the annotations to actually link them together. Down. Now unfortunately you can't set up annotations until the video is finished processing. This can be bad because sometimes if you have a really popular channel, I mean someone could watch your video before you actually finish setting up the annotations. A way to combat that is to go to Info and Settings and set it to Private until you set up your annotations just how you like them, then release it to the public. Alright, the processing is finished, now it's time to set up the annotations. Now here's the Add Annotation screen. When you hit Add Annotation, it'll put the annotation exactly where the scrubber is on your video. So we want to find where the videos appear, right at the beginning of the video in our case, and click on Add Annotation. We're going to do a spotlight. Then move it so it covers the video. Now you're going to want to drag this so it covers the entire time the video is appearing on the screen. You don't want someone to think, oh, I want to watch that video, and try to click it and your annotation has disappeared. If the video is on the screen, the annotation link has to be there as well. Now let's see how it looks. Looks great. Now let's do it again for the next week's video. Add annotation, spotlight. Circle the video. 
move the text box down. Now I keep saying next week or previous week's videos, but what if we don't release a video every week? It doesn't matter. You can use this to suggest any kind of videos. Just try to group them or make them logical. For example, let's say you have a tutorial about the outdoors. Go find some more outdoor videos you've produced and link to those. Stuff like that. It's looking pretty good. Now we need to actually link those to a video. So select the annotation for last week's video. This one right here. Click on link. Now you're copy and paste in a link to your last week's video. So go to your videos. You can command click this to open a different tab. Take your video. Copy the link. Paste it in. Always, always preview. Looking good. Pick next week's video. Repeat the process. Link. Oh, I shouldn't have closed that. Always, always preview. Looking good. It's saved. Now we can apply changes. Now the annotation tool is sometimes a little bit glitchy, a little bit tricky, so you always want to check to make sure it's actually doing what you think it will. So let's go back to our video manager. Let's actually watch my video and see if the annotations appear as I wanted. Try clicking them. Yep, that one worked. Let's try the next one. Yep, that one worked as well. Now a common problem is, what if you don't have your next video? It's not released yet. How do you link it? The solution is to pick a clip from your next batch of footage and then add a text link saying, coming soon, and don't actually link it to anything. But you then change to the link once the video is live. If you have no idea what your next video will be, just add some footage of you. Some people might notice it's not actually footage from the next video, but that means they actually care about your videos, and that's a good problem to have. There you have it. Using annotations, you can take control of your fate and link your videos together for more views and more subscribers.